Hello, welcome to myboxingcoach.com. My name is Franz Sands. Shadow boxing, seven tips for good shadow boxing. Now, shadow boxing is a fundamental part of boxing training. You always remember sort of the black and white images of Ali bouncing around the ring right up to the modern day. Great, it's a fundamental part of what we do. It's not part of a warm-up, okay? It's, a, it's an activity specific to itself. So what is shadow boxing? I remember when I was a kid, uh, I used to play chess, and my uncle bought me a book. When I was young, I must have been eight or nine, he bought me this big, thick chess book. And in it, lots of pictures and, and discussions of, of chess combinations and sequences and, and stuff. The book was very specific. Do not read this book with a chessboard in front of you. Do not be tempted to set the chessboard up and work through um, movements. What it wanted to do, what it encouraged you to do, was use your brain to apply the movements and visualise those movements so that you could visualise four, five, six moves ahead. Um, it's about training the mind. And that, to me, is really what bo uh, sh good shadow boxing is. It trains the mind. So my definition of shadow boxing is the process by which a boxer uses visualisation to develop and enhance their boxing skills. It's about flow. It's about speed. It's about thinking on your feet. So the seven tips. Number one, emphasis on movement. It's great to have mirrors. Okay, no problem. But... Don't become a slave to a mirror when it comes to shadow boxing. Don't just be tempted to stand in front of a mirror and just plod away, looking at yourself, throwing punches. Whatever floor space you have, use. Move around, visualize an opponent. Do not slave yourself to the mirrors because what you're going to be thinking more about is yourself because you're looking at yourself. Number two. What I've just mentioned, visualize an opponent, place a target, establish what range you are in compared to that target, imagine threat. Okay, be sort of be really, you've got to bring an opponent to life. When I say place a target, you know, make sure you're understanding where the head is and where the body is. And um, we're going to come on to another point in a minute. So you can move around. So all of the time you've got this opponent in front of you. Sometimes they'll be at close range. Sometimes they'll be at long range. Doesn't matter. Always visualise an opponent. Number three, accelerate the shots onto the target. One of my... So, so you're there, you've got this target. When I say accelerate the shots onto the target, that's what I mean. So what you're actually doing is rotating accelerating the shot and snapping it as if there's an opponent's flesh and bone in the equation. Accelerate the shot onto the target, snap the hooks, snap the uppercuts, and the straight shots for that matter. Number four, don't punch through the target. Drives me mad. You know what you're practicing to do there? You're practicing to miss. All power to you if you want to spend your life practicing to miss. Don't bother. Place the target. Accelerate the shots. Onto the target. Don't punch through. Don't practice to miss. You can use hand weight as well. Number five, alternate rounds, pick up small one pound hand weights. You can use resistance bands as, a, as an alternative. But use the hand weights for a round and then put them down and show the boxer out them. Great way to help develop punching muscle groups and even contribute towards speed enhancement as well. Number six, theme your rounds. Place an opponent. What if it were Mike Tyson? What if it were Mayweather? What if it were any boxer in history? Put aside a boxer. 
what if it were an aggressive opponent looking to close the ring down? Well, you're, you're going to want to think about being able to use pivots and lateral movements so that you can deflect them if they're, if they're physically strong. What if you've got to hold the centre of the ring? Well, you're going to want to think about rear foot pivots where you, your rear foot stays in about the same position. You're holding the centre of the ring. What if your opponent is physically strong enough to take the centre of the ring? Well, again, you're going to want to think about sideways movements, lateral movements all the time. What about a round of all close range work? So you're hooking, you're quickly shifting the feet. Theme your rounds, make it interesting. And number seven. Watch other boxers and emulate them. We're in the age of YouTube. When I was a kid, I had to have a shelf full of VHS, video cassettes. There's lots of material out there. So watch boxers and seek to emulate what they do. Okay, so there's seven tips. All I'd urge you to do, don't take shadow boxing for granted. Don't just, you know, work through it. <laughs> As if it's some part of your warm up. Focus 100% on what you're doing. Make it really special. If you're not going to focus on these small details, if you're not going to make each component of your training session the very best it can be, that it's not worth doing. So really focus on your shadow boxing. Really get it to work. Use those seven tips. Okay. Sign up to the Beginner Boxer Toolkit. It's my, my book that you can download for free. You leave your email address. Lots of stuff in there. From shadow boxing to heavy bag to equipment to how to set up your training cycles and training regime uh, so some pretty cool stuff um, and also subscribe otherwise leave a comment um, share it with your mates anyone who you think would benefit from this um, and i will see you next time thank you